So my name is Tracy Truant. I'm an oncology nurse. I've been an oncology nurse for 25 years, working with patients and families in clinical, education, research, and leadership roles. And over the past 15 years, I've had the great opportunity to participate in research around complementary medicine, uh, particularly around a research program called CAMEO, the Complementary Medicine Education and Outcomes Research Program. So it's probably good to start with defining what do we mean by complementary medicine or CAM. CAM stands for complementary and alternative medicine. It can be further defined into five different categories. The first being mind-body therapies, things like visualization, meditation, relaxation. Body-based therapies, things like chiropractic and massage. Energy-based therapies, things like acupuncture, therapeutic touch, Reiki. Biologic products, things like herbal products, supplements, natural health products, and whole systems, things like naturopathy, traditional Chinese medicine, and Ayurvedic medicine. Over the past decade, there's really been a growing body of evidence around the use of complementary medicine in cancer, and specifically related to prostate cancer. Um, for example, there's been good evidence mounting around the use of acupuncture, particularly for men who are experiencing hot flushes uh, related to their cancer treatment. Another example is uh, mindfulness-based stress reduction uh, as a strategy that combines meditation, yoga, and movement in kind of an eight-week exercise program. And it's really shown to be beneficial for improving not only feelings of well-being, but reducing people's anxiety, it has some impacts on fatigue, as well as nausea. It's really important for you to talk with healthcare providers about the use of complementary medicine. We really want to help you use it safely in a way that will help you meet your goals. So it's really important to talk to your healthcare team, particularly your oncologist or your primary care provider, so that they understand what you're using and what impact it might have on your other cancer treatments. You can also talk to your pharmacist. They're a great resource to look at interactions between natural health products and the, your, the conventional cancer treatments that you're on. Your dietitians are a great resource, either at the Cancer Center or through an online. Uh, in British Columbia, we have uh, dietitians at 811 who are oncology trained. You can actually talk with librarians as well. If you have a CAM therapy that you're really interested in using and you just want the evidence, they're great at tracking down the evidence for you so that you can then take it to your healthcare provider and discuss with. Your oncology nurses are great decision coaches and can help you work through an informed decision-making process to help you come to some decisions which you can then talk about with your healthcare team. 